Hey, what's going on, Storm Watchers? I know it's been a while since I've been back on YouTube, but this is a wrap up of what I think about year 2019 video, like I've done with my last one, what I thought about year 2018 and whatnot. And this is pretty much just a basic summary of what I've been up to last year and keep y'all up to date of what I might be doing in the future and probably even more stuff that's going on with me now and probably even more stuff I just didn't mention in the intro just like literally five minutes ago that I've done pretty much last year of, of year 2019. All right. Uh, this particular year, um, uh, for starters, um, I wasn't particularly invested in anything this year, aside from the new movies, I guess. A few TV shows here and there intrigued me, uh, and we obviously uh, saw Undone, uh, I mean last year I meant Undone, that was pretty entertaining, um, and honestly I kind of considered it one of the best TV shows that I saw all of last year. Um, Witcher, I just got into that, and, uh, at first I just was not convinced with the guy who played Witcher, but from actually looking at the TV series, I can say that it's pretty decent, although it follows the continuity of its original established, uh, uh, novels, um, and I know pretty much we're not gonna stop hearing that, uh, really famous song, Toss a Coin to the Witcher, from there because that song is pretty much legendary at this point because everyone's like doing covers of it like rock metal covers and trap rap covers and blah 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 uh, music mostly of last year I guess you can say it's forever hit or miss um, particularly if anyone who's already been on my Twitter already know what well, I felt like was my favorite song for a while last year that being uh, that Doja Cat song, um, <laughs> I forgot the title, but yeah, y'all know what it was, it, if, uh, the one where she was like a gangster and shit like that, I forgot the title, but yeah, you guys get it, uh, like pretty much everyone's reacting, especially the uh, Doja Cat's voluptuous ass, pretty much, which I don't blame them, she has a nice ass, uh, it's almost to the point where it's actually almost even bigger than her body. That's not a bad thing, but come on. We mostly saw these videos. We mostly reacted to these videos. Most of these videos on YouTube pretty much call, caught our attention. <coughs> Purely because of uh, Doja Cat's ass. Her gluteus, gluteus maximus. Um, uh... Yeah, in terms of uh, music last year, it was rather hit or miss. You ever like it or you don't like it. It really doesn't matter. Uh, movies were, again, kind of forgettable. With only a few uh, actually gems slipping through the cracks, like Endgame or The Joker. You can say that, that or Joker. That was pretty good. And I might do a possible review on it. Yes, I know I'm probably late on it, but, you know, I might do a little discussion right on that video somewhere of this current year. Uh, aside from a few celebrity deaths, God rest uh, John Witherspoon, uh, I was pretty much out of the loop for, for the most part. Uh, Juice World also pretty much passed last year. Which, again, if anyone has been on my Instagram, pretty much already know how I felt about that death. And especially my newfound uh, opinion about it when I figure out actually what really happened. So, I, uh, Juice World's death was literally Murphy's Law, I guess you could say, for the most part. Um, no offense to anyone who liked the Juice World, but that's just my personal uh, thought about it, really. Um... The only, uh, pretty much the biggest crunch about Juice World's death was that uh, too many people who our age are pretty much uh, dying, uh, or at least around my age range. Me and Juice World were pretty much in around the same same age range, and 
it's pretty unfortunate to see pretty much young people like that just dying by the uh, boatloads this time of the year from gang violence or uh, heavy drug abuse or harebrained schemes, uh, whatever. Pick your poison. Um, uh, I guess that's enough I can say about media. Uh, about last year's media, for the most part, it was pretty adequate, I could say. Uh, just like last year's was pretty adequate. Um, uh, most of all, really, what I did over a year was uh, last year was pretty much work for a while at my summer job. And that's pretty much how I was able to get half of this equipment, this mic, uh, the camera. I'm pretty much shooting this from now and, and, and whatnot. Uh so yeah, I pretty much was getting shit together. Uh, I even had, I even got this, you know, for my new drawings. If anyone see on uh, DeviantArt, uh, again another uh, website source that I've been pretty vacant from due to, you know, <coughs> life holding me back, and you know, college, and especially how my schedules are set up. I pretty much have like class for like every week. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much busy ripping and running everywhere and pretty much every assignment I have to do is like literally a package long or having to deal with, you know, hands-on computers and technology and for most part it can get really straining at times, but I feel like if I, you know, zip line, you know, all my chores and assignments and God knows what else Bring, uh, God knows what else uh, my college experience is throwing at me. I have to zip line everything to get things done like I always do. Uh, I'm a really in and out type of guy. When I get it, I got it type, you know, individual. And pretty much that feeling is also very present when it comes to uh, when it comes to completing assignments and pretty much getting anything done, such as this video being one. Uh, of an example, uh, please, uh, uh, please, <laughs> sound like Obama right now, um, I know I'm talking with this really high octave right now, but mostly because this uh, microphone is kind of a piece of shit at times, and honestly, it's a pain in the ass to work sometimes, so I'm pretty much getting the most that I can out in this video on this really wobbly mic that I literally got for like 20 bucks from Amazon, but I'm still trying to make the best of it, and pretty much in the oral communications, they're told to speak with a really high and authoritative octave, and black also, stimu this color black also stimulates a sense of priority or, or leadership to people who look at it, it's one of those type of colors. Yeah, I've been pretty much, I've been around learning all types of things so I can pretty much better my craft in terms of YouTube and pretty much in skill and art and pretty much anything I want to do, like possibly even being a future voice actor. Uh, pretty much, this is just amongst things I want to do in my to-do list and I feel like raising myself to an octave or where people can understand me is the way to do it. Uh, so the whole voice thing is pretty much out the door. I pretty much explained what's going on and pretty much gave, uh, at least authentic enough reason for why I am speaking at this level. Um, uh, for the most part, I pretty much literally been having a stroke of really some good luck, but also a mixture of bad luck. Uh, I had to burn a lot of bridges. Some things kind of got mis mi mixed up, especially during travel pertaining to some of my luggage. luggage. Uh, so pretty much I kind of came back here a bit unprepared. And for a while I was just like in a total moody state right now with these constant uh, unfortunate events always curling around the corner. So, pretty much, I pretty much had to work with what I got. Uh, kind of almost seems like I, I even got to college late a little bit. So, 
pretty much all the massive uh, uh, stack of clothes has pretty much a uh, massive stack of uh, uh, assignments, my bad, excuse me, has pretty much kind of left me behind in most classes. So I pretty much had to make up a lot of things. It's, gone, it's actually almost gone to the point where this video is more so about me rambling about my weird stroke of unfortunate side effects that have appeared within me with with uh, within this time and less more so of how I feel about 28 about 2019 excuse me I kind of forget uh, I guess you can say for the most part it's, it, it's been pretty mundane uh, I did the usual shit that people do on New Year's Eve uh, get drunk get high you know, fuck lady boys, you know, typical things like that, that, you know, people like myself do, but, yeah, you get the gist of it, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this shit up, <laughs> man, I love, I love doing this shit, oh, no, no, this is just me right now, I, I just broke character for a minute, hold on, like, like, I just dropped the octave for a minute, this is me talking, this is not, you know, asshole, uh, 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 shogunistic guy talking. This is me, but yeah, seriously, for the most part, it's just like it's just always one shit after another. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm just trying to, you know, pull myself back up and you know start walking. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, don't break a nigga, make a nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's just I've been a lot of shit just been going on for a while. Uh, not entirely for the bad, but. Not something anyone would pre would uh, uh prefer, so to speak. Um, so yeah, pretty much in terms of media, everything was rather average or mediocre. Uh, <laughs> this this usually would be like an hour long video where I just talk about all the shit that's been going on with me and how I feel about twenty nineteen. But what I mostly just gotta think about is it's just been a pretty mundane ride for the most part and kind of a little disappointing I pretty much just it was just one thing after another it's just some things just didn't work out I had to burn a lot of bridges I had to make a lot of make a lot of shit up because I missed it uh and you know pretty much had to balance this all with just some type of coping mechanism that is being the gym itself so you can obviously tell from the broader shoulders and arms of, you know, why I got here. I hate to brag, but, you know, improvement, baby, improvement. I I, I like the way I look, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just me. Just This is pretty much when I usually make yearly videos like this, where like vlogs or blogs. I'm pretty much just detoxing and more or less making yearly videos of what I thought about you know, this year and this and that and blah, blah, blah. It's just a simple detox and whatnot. And so, yeah, that's just me talking <laughs> right now before I thought about it. But in other terms, it feels as I feel like things of right now has turned, has went to a step in a better direction. Uh, what I most had to say about a lot of new movies such as The Invisible Man or Birds of Prey are pretty lackluster, to say the most. Because <laughs> I'm Rob Dyke. <laughs> I'm tired. That's <laughs> but yeah, uh, pretty much, man. A lot of movies just look really mediocre right now. Like, I went to go see uh, Year Night. Uh, I went to go see the film uh, uh, 1917. It was a. Uh, fictional historical uh, war f uh, war film about two messengers and whatnot and I pretty much literally went to a theater and let me remind you it's literally the first time like I ever been to a IMAX theater and you know for the most part it was a pretty great experience and honestly that was one of the first times I actually felt you know kind of happy you know like just finally just get away from school get away from all the bullshit get away from this and that and blah 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 and you know shit like this and you know being a broke ass college student so yeah it was just a really it was a I feel like that, that like going to the movie with you know one friend and one other cohort I just feel like it was a good time to detox and 
1917 was pretty it was a pretty entertaining movie I've, and I'm bound to actually do a review of that um, eventually I, honestly I was hoping to like do a review of that before the critical drinker did but you know <laughs> busy and shit you know what I'm saying but yeah like I literally went to IMAX like I have the ticket and everything like because I collect tickets pretty much for the most part. But, uh, yeah, you have pretty much a lot of content that you peep that, uh, you glamorous, extravagant viewers will like this, will most likely see in the past will pretty much just be reviews of shit I saw pretty much last year. Uh, that possible, uh, Joker review is coming out somewhere. This somewhere next month probably or this month really depends on my mood and you know depending on the circumstances that are going that are that I'm going through, um, yeah you'll see a Joker review, you'll see a you'll see a Joker review, you'll see a Dragon Prince three review which I literally meant to get onto, like for a long time but you know I was busy and shit. Uh, also I'm gonna uh, go back. I'm, I decided to, like, just do an overall, you know, a review uh, and rant of uh, Ruby Volume 7 when it's finished, or 6, or 7. It's 7, yeah, 7. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't catched up because of uh, Booster Teeth's strict policy on who gets their content and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. I'll, I'm not going to, like, do, like, weekly uh, reviews on it because, honestly, it's gone to the point where it's, like, the season's literally almost out the door, so I said might I should just might as well just might I should as might as well do it just a overall like full on probably one hour critique on a Ru Ruby Volume Seven review, uh, and I know I meant to, I keep saying I'm gonna you know review Castlevania and I'm gonna review Cold Gears, but honestly. <laughs> I never really actually got around to doing the Castlevania review, mostly because I had to do this video. Like, this video, this, well, I already pretty much postponed this, uh, what I thought about, uh, year 2019 video. I had to pretty much postpone it with this video alone, so you might see the Castlevania review, like, probably later. Also, this month, man, I, <laughs> I know, man, I'm, I'm sloppy, <laughs> I'm lazy as shit, but... You know, that's kind of just how, that's just kind of how shit is, bro. Uh, you'll mostly likely see reviews of uh, stuff like that uh, coming up somewhere this year. Uh, I'm not totally dismissing it. Uh, mostly, I'm thinking about doing a 1970 review next. I actually, actually, I actually have to write a, a script about that. Where I pretty much have to talk about a really detailed mm, analysis of that film. Because, in general, it's just a really well- uh, design uh, film. The shots looked it good. The backdrops, the, the 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 effects, the makeup, the the corn syrup, the audio, pretty much. Especially when I was in there, like you can actually like hear these like turbines in the backs and bugles and gunshots and bombs and mimes. So I'll make sure to actually get into like a really in depth review of that, and that's possibly the one next. Uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, in summary, 2019 was pretty mundane. A few things I enjoyed came out here and there, some, and, you know, that's pretty much just about it. Uh, I'll make sure to actually, like, try to do more YouTube things, because, honestly, I'm really passionate about YouTube, but, you know, life holds me back, and I'm, I'm kind of unable to do, you know, half of the things I like, so I'm just, like, uh, sending that word out. Uh, for Neverworld, uh, man, I hope you, you, you hold on, man, he lost his, his, uh, wife, you know, I hope, you know, he kind of, you know, you know, holds on, I hope he, you know, brings himself together, I, I probably couldn't even imagine if that would have happened to me, but, yeah, I just saw a video on that, like, earlier, and honestly, kind of tore me up, so I'm just saying, like, man, you know, God grip, bro, I, I, ho I hope you make it, uh, yeah, pretty much James Hansen is gone now f from YouTube. I guess he got sick of that shit. Uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I pretty much got safe out of YouTube. Or, 
anything about that. Like, honestly, I'm just too busy for it now. And honestly, I'm just never really in the mood to do these videos. And just a lot of shit just going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's pretty much about it, man. Check out my DeviantArt. I'm going to be uploading more pictures soon. Uh, honestly, that's another thing I don't really have time for to do you for drawing or writing. The only real coping mechanism I actually got now is like that. It's like exercising on on days where I don't have class or if class is like late or anything. So yeah, I'm kind of like like currently on the pursuit of happiness, so to speak. So yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Y'all already know the drill. Drop a like if you like the video. Comment down below what you thought about uh, last year and shit, whatnot. Comment that you know, hey, Aki Chano Tasumaki, you're a fucking faggot, and you should have made these videos sooner. Instead of just sitting around with your thumb in your ass. Like, just go for it in the comment section. Do whatever you want. Uh, like this video. Don't like it. I don't know. Just, it, it's really all about personal preference. And I pretty much told mine about last year. So, it's fair enough that I should give y'all the same satisfaction. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm actually kind of to the point where I'm like, I'm kind of like exhausted, to be honest, and right now I'm just trying to find, you know, a coping mechanism I have enough time for, because pretty much time, pretty much class, pretty much took me out, uh, took me more or less out of the mood of anything else and shit, like things I actually want, like drawing or writing and yada, 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 you know, things that, you know, I want to do in the future as a, you know, career, as something I want to do. Instead of just, you know, just being a broke-ass college student. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, and like always, man, Dad of Storm is watching, y'all. Uh,